Hello viewers, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. Of course, uh, we've had William Barr before the House in the last 24 hours. He was there uh, before the Congress, I think on a matter related to the DOJ budget. But of course, uh, Democratic senators got their questions in regarding the Mueller report. Now, there are a couple of things that struck me about that um, if you go back to my past reading on Barr, we, you know, what ha has been uh, coming forward is the report is going to be redacted. Well, we knew that. Um, however, the question is how heavily redacted will it be? Will Barr use redaction as a way of holding back information? So that's our first question. And the second question was Barr w w wouldn't be drawn on whether the White House has seen the report or has been briefed on the report. Uh, he refused to answer that question. I've also been watching Steve Mnuchin um, on, and Trump's tax returns as well. Uh, unbelievable that a cabinet, uh, a cabinet sector, secretary would say, I don't really want to be here. I don't have to be here. Uh, and if you're going to force me to be here, I don't want that. Um, it was quite extraordinary. When quizzed on who he was meeting from overseas that he had to get away, of course, he said uh, uh, Bahrain. Um, and it was in connection with uh, national security and sanctions. Very odd thing, very odd thing to, to come out with. So let's go to Barr in Congress. Suffice to say that um, the atmosphere over there, um, uh, the atmosphere in the US at the moment I'm getting from my viewers is very, very, very strong, very testy, very edgy, people are on edge uh, and there is this, um, I guess, putting up walls, literally putting up walls from uh, Trump's, um, from the White House and Trump's uh, cabinet members and Trump himself. On another matter, while I mentioned walls, of course, we've had the Defence Department, I think, has, or your Pentagon, has released $1 billion. Um, uh, this was the funds that Trump has moved around, apparently legally so, and there's another there's another lot to, to come as well. Contracts have been let for sections of the border. We know that Trump, of course, it's been reported uh, that Trump wanted to close the border at El Paso uh, and he was talked out of it. So, yeah, we've got a lot of this sort of energies around around at the moment, this is the moon card, things being hidden, things being trying to be hid, hidden uh, and things needing to come to the surface. So I feel that uh, if we were underwater, um, we've got those that would keep things hidden in that murky pond and we've also got those that are really uh, energetically trying to uncover, to bring things forward. So um an interesting week with the energies that are there at the moment. So let's go to Bar. Um, now the question here that we want to know, or that I'm going to ask, is Bar going to rely on heavy redactions to hold information uh, that otherwise should come forward, that won't put anyone in jeopardy? Uh, that might have come forward under a different uh, regime, is Barr going to rely on those redactions to keep information back that uh, is in the President's best interest to keep back? What are the conditions we need to know about what those redactions are going to look, look like? Are the redactions uh, going to be beyond what he needs to keep back for national security, various other readings, uh, reasons? Is he going to rely on those redactions, overly redact the report to protect the president? Bah, okay. Right, we've got the Knight of Wands coming forward. Uh, he's This is Bar himself. This is the strength that he has, the power that he has in relation to the Mueller investigation. He is Trump's Attorney General. He's calling the shots, calling the shots, and I don't think there's any any doubt about that at the moment, but he's coming up against tremendous opposition. He's coming up against the, uh, this is the hope and the change card, always comes forward for the Democrats. He's being challenged by that. But it's not just the Democrats in the Congress that are challenging his authority, if you like, or the, the strength of his will to 
uh, fulfill his his agenda. This is America. This is the world where we're demanding answers. This has gone on for long enough. I really don't feel that Barr fully um, understood the uh, energetic levels that he was operating on. Of course, um, people uh, in the mainstream today in government, uh, politicians, they don't understand, I won't say all, they don't understand that energetic momentum, you know, when you've got a uh, uh, will sort of consolidating. There is so much will there to see the Mueller report. It's, it would be almost impossible to hold it back. But I do feel, well, we haven't got to the end of the re read reading, I do feel he's going to be relying on those redactions. Um, now, the focus of the reading, of course, is the Nine of Pentacles. This is around self-government. It's also around luxury. It's around those moneyed elite. This is the foundation of the reading in that position. Interesting. Bar, is that where Bar is aligned? Hmm. Loans and debts in the past, help, giving and receiving help. This, I feel, is Bar's, this is the card for Bar. His, I think, children, one is employed at the White House, another within the DOJ. Bar's rising to prominence as, as Trump's Attorney General. There are, if not literal payoffs, my impressions are there are payoffs for William Barr in... Uh, protecting the Republican agenda, protecting Trump's agenda giving and receiving help. Now, we've got uh, what is in the present position and new starts. This, this is interesting. This card is coming up increasing with increasing frequency. It's almost like the old heavy energies of um, trying to keep things hidden are actually falling away, breaking away. There's some kind of new start here. The potential of the, potential of the present is to uh, provide a new start. It's interesting. Celebrations, the Four of Wands. Is he going to rely on those uh, on those redactions? I feel that he. This is the card of reunions. It's the It's the card of um, you know family family occasions, weddings, um, those celebratory. Um, occasions that we have when we actually feel good. Um, it's co it's connecting really strongly with the um, the Ace of Wands now, and it's connecting. It's sitting alongside the Hope card here. I've always felt that despite whatever redactions, um, that the, the, there's going to be wins here, wins here for uh, those that uh, want the information brought out. But we haven't got to the end of the reading here either. This could potentially be trying to give Trump a new start and could be celebrations that the uh, there's been sufficient redactions there uh, not to be uh, an issue. Barr at the moment feels like he's a victor. This is the six of um, the six of wands here. This is the winning card. He feels like he's won. He's won something. Okay, so we've got he's potentially won something through uh, his actions or implementing his agenda. The environment around him, though, uh, is uh, chaos and ruin and downfall. The other aspects of, the, of this reading as well is that the Mueller report is actually being, going to be brought forward. Now, at the time Barr released that summary, was that an attempt to uh, to hold back the report? There was an absolute outcry and outrage. The Congress uh, then started to uh, talk about subpoenaing the report, getting Mueller up on, on uh, to, to appear before them. A sufficient pressure was put on bar to release that report but we're talking redactions here i do feel he the these cards are now for the i'm feeling very strongly it's a win here um for those that want to see the Mueller report in some way 
because this is in the hopes and fears. This is the retreat after battle. I've got the Two of Cups as the outcome, though. That uh, I do believe is Trump's Trumps and Bars card here. We'll draw some clarity. Trying to put some uh, smoke screens. Trying to put those redactions up to, uh, I guess, obscure things. And, uh, and prevent loss. Yeah, okay. So this reading is showing that um, when at the point that Bar... So, so there, there's been some giving and, and receiving help. There's been some... I'm not saying my impressions are that it's not necessarily money changing hand, but hands, but there's been some kind of payoff here in the past here. It could even be as simple as Barr taking the job. Here, you're my Attorney General. You're the most powerful, uh, you know, uh, heading the Department of Justice, um, you know, and the and the and the jobs for the for the children, etc. Uh, the in the inner elite circle, Republican circle, quite a position of power. Uh, we could be talking about that. The job itself could have been a payoff for him. It's showing that he uh, certainly thought he had the strength, that he was the um, the person to come in here and uh, implement strong action to, uh, as we now know, with that summary to potentially prevent the, because he inserted himself into the report, didn't allow Congress to make that decision. He inserted himself to uh, for a favourable outcome for, for the president. He certainly thought he could do that, but he was challenged on that. Uh, and then, of course, we've got, well, what was he acting for? We've got these new starts here now with the Mueller report coming forward. I do feel these are vic this is a victory that we actually even saw that report because the environment around here is chaos uh, and ruination. So, of course, uh, I, I feel that if there was a... Um, um, if there was a move to hold back that Mueller report, I think Barr did say, did I? I'm, I'm, I thought him, I heard him say, uh, regulations from the Clinton era mean that I don't have to, um, I don't have to provide this or this report. So I would need to go back and research that. But some viewers, if they heard him say that, might like to comment on that. I do believe though that these cards here are giving us clarity. I do feel that. Uh, this is some kind of um, briefing, uh, decision, getting together potentially with the White House to try and obscure uh, and prevent loss here. So this all this leads me to my next question: Has the White House been briefed? He didn't answer that. Of course, we know that if he what's hidden from view before I go any further is uh, some sort of abuse of power. Okay, so I think it's quite clear we can expect, as I've read in the past, we can expect uh, redactions on that report. Now, the trick or the um, sticking point or the uh, battle lines will be drawn over whether those redactions are necessary or not. How would you know if you didn't hadn't seen the full report? So then it will come back to Congress uh, now, he, I think Barr has undertaken to uh, perhaps brief or provide the full report to the heads of the judiciary, the, both the House Judiciary and the Senate um, Judiciary Committee. Will it be up to Congress then to keep, to keep the fight up to see the full report? And I guess legal scholars will go in there uh, that have been following the case and we will have this momentum building to see the full and un 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 unadulterated report. Or there could be more leaks from the Mueller investigation team uh, or reported leaks. So these are all questions for the future after Barr's uh, appearance uh, before Congress yesterday. Okay, well, I'm just going to really give these a good shuffle because I think this is an important question. Almost like we've been climbing Mount Everest and, and you know, the Mueller report is really the climax. Um, always has been, really. That's really what we've been heading toward. Well, 
I was also reading today where a, report, a newspaper report too where um, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein was quite serious about uh, wearing a wire uh, and invoking the 25th Amendment and had support reportedly, had support from two cabinet members. So that's interesting. Okay. Has William Barr and the Department of Attorney General had conversations, briefed the White House, shown the White House, shown Donald Trump, briefed Donald Trump on what's in the Mueller report? He said he wouldn't do that, but he didn't answer the question yesterday. Has William Barr briefed Donald Trump? I'm feeling that there has been a briefing, whether Trump has seen the Mueller report or not. There's been a briefing and there's been a strategy. Has William Barr briefed Donald Trump on the Mueller report uh, and uh, potentially what actions he's going to be taking? Have they shown the report to the White House? Briefed or shown the White House or Donald Trump or Donald Trump's lawyers? On the Mueller report, what's in the Mueller report? Okay, so we've got the Five of Cups here. Now, this is re this is loss, but it's more importantly reaction to loss. Reaction to loss. So that would lead me to think there's been some kind of strategy there. I shuffled the hell out of those cards. It's being challenged by the Star of Hope. The momentum to see the report, the momentum to stop the any ideas of a political cover-up. I'm not saying an unlawful cover-up, I'm saying a political cover-up. These are my impressions. The magician actualizing something into reality. So that it, this is the, my feeling. I think I was uh, correct that there has been some kind of briefing and a dis strategy discussed to limit the fallout. Fallout. This is the card, uh, the five of cups being the reaction to loss. Oh dear, dear, dear Lord. <laughs> the six of pentacles in the past. Giving and receiving help in the past position. There could even be a question of Bar. These are my impressions only through the tarot reading. Bar being indebted to the Republican Party in some way. Okay, step up. Step up and look after this. Step up and manage this for us. The potential here, the uh, Knight of Wands, inspired action, some kind of authoritarian strong action. It's a briefing and a strategy that's occurred. The King of Pentacles here, uh, Donald Trump, the businessman. This is around uh, what, what's in the report uh, in relation to the Trump organisation and the Trump business. The situation at the moment, um, the eagle, we've got the soldier of freedom, uh, the truth riding this eagle here. This is the momentum, the, the Congress, the, the people, the country, the world wanting the truth. This is too big. This is too big for Barr and the Republicans to cover. That's what cover up or manage or manipulate to a certain agenda. That's just way, way too big. Okay, um, the environment around uh, is the past. So again, uh, in other decks, this is going back to a safer, a more stable time. That's what people want. They see the Mueller report as a way to, particular, you know, get rid of of Trump and return the world to sanity. Um, but in this deck, it's something different here. Well, it, it, there are there's something around the past, but there's also an offer. This is actually Eve offering Adam the apple, the environment around, which is why we need the truth. Okay, so 
hopes and fears, ending of the presidency, hoping that the presidency will end, but also the fear of it ending. Oh, dear. Uh, this is why he wouldn't be drawn on yesterday uh, on whether or not he'd brief the White House. He had... Oh, the White House has seen the Mueller report or a briefing on the Mueller report, what's in the Mueller report, I should say. He's done it. He's had that briefing. He may not have shown the report, but he's certainly told him what's in the report and there's been a strategy. This may have not occurred recently either. This may have occurred some time ago. I have to go back and check uh, Barr's words when he was asked, will the White House have a chance to, because this is the thing with Barr, he, uh, you need to look at his exact words. Would he uh, show, would the White House have a chance to edit or comment on that report? He said no. But was he asked back then? Had he uh, talked to the president about what's in the report? Had he uh, briefed anyone about the contents of the report? What were the questions and answers? In, all, in any case, right now, the situation is the fear that is that the report could end the presidency. And we've got balance coming forward here. Balance and negotiation, that's, that's pretty much what the strategy is trying to achieve for Donald Trump. Balance to uh, limit the fallout for the emperor. But here we have the Congress. Okay, so the Congress is receiving exactly the same report that the public is receiving. Why? Why can't the Congress, those judicial committees who are sworn to secrecy, why can't they receive the whole report? So I'm afraid, uh, I'm afraid, viewers, that uh, we're still not going to get a look at all the damning evidence um, or, you know, that Mueller works so hard to, um, to bring forward. They expect some really heavy redactions, but there will be challenges to those redactions is what I'm feeling. The Democrats won't give up till they see either see the full report or they get Mueller in front of them. So really, whatever Barr is doing, it's just stalling the inevitable. So I'm going to ask, is there going to... Um, are we ever going to see the full report? Well, not we, but is Congress ever going to see the full Mueller report? I think it's worth uh, spending some time drilling down on, on all of this because... Um, it's just such an important, it's like the climb to Mount Everest. You know, we didn't do all of that for nothing, did we? Um, so let me give it a good shuffle again. I like to, to give things a good shuffle there. Okay, so is Congress ever going to Congress? Ever going to see the full Mueller report? Yes, no. Congress ever going to see... Full Mueller report. I am getting yes that they, that that eventually they will, but it's quite hard. it's just going to be made so hard for them. The Ten of Pentacles. It's hard because uh, there's some there's so much there relating to Trump and his businesses. Trump the businessman. There's going to be, uh, you know, this obvious stalling um, and impasse at the moment. Uh, we've got uh, the Ace of Pentacles coming forward. I do feel that this is a yes card. I do feel that eventually they're going to be able to see the full report, but it's going to take hard work to get it. Mirroring uh, the Ten of Pentacles, Trump the businessman, there's going to be obviously uh, the full unredacted report would uh, would lead to uh, obviously impeachment of, of, of Trump. These are my impressions. Uh, and uh, we've got the endings and the beginnings mirroring the um, the impasse on it at the moment. This is, you know, this is showing that, yes, they will. I'll just bring the laptop down quickly so you can see those cards again because they're quite good. They're showing that, uh, of course, there's going to be a struggle. It's a struggle to protect uh, the tr Trump and his business, the, the, the moneyed uh, element, I guess, that's always been there. 
Uh, it's it really uh, it, it stalled at the moment. But the Ace of Pentacles is showing new starts here. Uh, it potentially will lead to uh, the quite a uh, uh, the dark night of the soul, downfall uh, of Trump, the businessman, which will eventually ro result in endings and beginnings, new beginnings. So um, at this point of time, it's still fight mode, fight, fight, fight. Well, resist, resist, resist. However, persist, <laughs> persist mode. Um, because there's some way now to try and get round Bar, who's, uh, you know, it's the same. I keep liking it, likening it to the Kavanaugh situation, but this time we're talking about uh, protection for the uh, for Trump here. So no holds uh, holes are being barred, but I just feel it's going to come out whether that it's through Mueller on the stand here, or you know, in front of the Congress. Um, the Democrats aren't going to give up until they get that. And, of course, once they get that, get what they want, the full unredacted, perhaps the public won't see that, but the Congress will eventually see that unredacted um, unredacted report. Perhaps, as I said, members of the Judiciary Committee will eventually see it and that will eventually lead to the downfall of uh, the President. Now, in the meantime, we've got Mueller's investigators and Mueller himself. Um, I have, sh uh, as as you know from previous readings, I sh it show that there would be leaks. Now, if a redacted copy comes out, and again we're faced with the same situation that we really can't get to the evidence that shows exactly what went on. Would uh, Mueller's investigators then uh, leak? actually leak the report. It's been said some made their own summaries of the report. Mueller's no, uh, Mueller would have known. He's been around politics long enough. What contingency plans did they have? I'm getting that uh, when Mueller didn't come out with absolute findings, I think he he knew that this process would would that the Congress wouldn't stop. Interesting. I think when we when we look back on all of this, you know, prior to the midterms, those any indictments stopped. Was Mueller Rosenstein nearly lost his his job? Mueller might have been in danger of getting shut down there before the midterms. Maybe there's been a stepping back to allow the investigation to keep going. Um, this is just my impressions. And Mueller has uh, has done this in a way to uh, so that the report will actually eventually come out before Congress. But is it true that those investigators have received have prepared their own summaries? Are there contingency plans? Is there going to be any more leaks? Mueller investigation teams, are there going to be any more leaks? I feel that there could be above and beyond what's already been reported. Let's have a look at what the cards are saying. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Swords here. We've got, uh, this is coming forward for lawmakers, but it's also, um, it's also the truth. It's the, the stability that the truth uh, brings. You know, when there's uh, attempts to cover up the truth, you get the uh, you get the push for the truth. And this is saying that there are potentially now thoughts around bringing forward more of the truth. Okay, what uh, what is challenging uh, this at the moment is the Angel of Temperance. This is the Balance card. It's also the Negotiation card. Hmm. Are the investigator, investigators talking amongst themselves? We've got the government here, so uh, it's showing that I think that Moore is relying on the Congress and the law to, to, to uh, I guess, that's his contingency plan. Are any of those investigators going to leak? I think that they. I think that the report in the New York Times was correct. Things coming forward strongly and quickly. Um, that's in the past. Who are the investigators? Are they still talking to uh, to journalists? Wow, is there some kind of negotiation here? 
that could be that could be the case. They could be currently talking to journalists here, and they could be in negotiations around uh, this. Yeah, a potentially a contingency plan. This is also representative of the law. What's hanging over this situation is uh, loss. They are not happy with what's gone on. That's quite clear from this reading. Um, the Queen of Pentacles here. This is around um, financial resources, around um, financial uh, building uh, assets here. Uh, there's something around the money here that they feel that there's an imperative to bring forward information if it's not if, if the report is covered up in some way. There's a karmic aspect to this situation, the wheel of fortune, things changing in one's favour. In the background, we've got the sword or the soldier of truth, some sort of action being taken. Yep, hopes and fears, fears that justice won't be done, hoping, hoping that it will. And we've got the four of cups, disappointment, they're disappointed in what's gone on so far. Uh, they feel that there has been uh, uh, information which has been excluded. So this is the exclusion card, and it is around the um, potentially around financial, uh, the financial information. There could be around the the Trump Tower, Trump Trump Tower meeting. Could be around deals with uh, with Moscow and others. And we've got the Empress, so there's a strong lot of information. This is an abundance of information in that report. I feel uh, it's, un it's unclear at the moment whether or not they're actually going to go ahead and leak further, provide their summaries. I feel that there is, they're in no nego there's some kind of negotiation going on. Um, let me just ask for some clarity because I'm not seeing a yes, a yes card. Some clarity, spirit. They're disappointed. They really, there's so much more in that report that hasn't, that isn't known. That's clear in this reading. Are the some clarity? Are the investigators going to leak? Investigators going to leak. They appear to be talking. Uh, to the press, maybe covertly negotiating. We're going to see leaks. Just getting the word like a backup plan. The King of Wands is the ultimate authority, um, the boss. Three of Wands, it's, it's regarding um, overseas commerce and expansion. And... Uh, Trump's reaction or, or the reaction to the loss there, which came up in our other readings. I can't say for sure that they're going to leak. I do feel that they're in talks. They're very disappointed. Uh, have they decided to come forward yet? Yeah, I think they're going to wait to see how things are going to play out first. They feel uh, that there's been a lot of information excluded. They're worried that justice won't be done. Um, as I said, there's, there's the other element um, to this is negotiations, potentially, uh, to bring more of the truth out. I feel that they have done this in the past and uh, they feel that, that they're, they're, they well, this is broken hearted. I'm, I'm not saying that the investigators are broken hearted, but they're extremely disappointed if you think about... Um, you know, the two years that they've been investigating um, Trump uh, and to see that four-page summary in the way that it was brought forth. We know that there's going to be redactions. We know that, uh, according to these cards, Barr potentially has briefed the president. This is all my impressions through the tarot cards. I do feel they're talking to the press at the moment. Uh, there is a chance, because of their disappointment, that they may, may leak, but I feel that they are uh, gauging they're watching and gauging what's actually going to happen with the Congress. Um, my impressions are they might, they might leave it to Moolah uh, to take this, uh, to appear before the Congress. Is that correct, Spirit? Will they? Uh, will this be down to Moolah appearing before the Congress? Moolah appearing before the Congress. Okay, painful endings, dark night of the soul, defending... Self-defence, courage and persistence, uh, they're hard work. 
the faction and the rivalries, the obstacles that are being put in the way to, to prevent the ending of the presidency, uh, the the, we the battle weariness, uh, Mueller having to defend himself after and their team having to defend themselves. Trump's always, you know, talking about whatever, however many angry Democrats and the support uh, that they, they're giving one another. They're, you know, this is a very close team. This reading is showing that um, that Mueller will be appearing before the Congress and it's going to be quite damaging to Trump. So I'm going to leave that there, but I'm also going to close this down now and just because it's been a long reading, but also uh, have a look at Bernie Sanders. He's come forward quite strongly in uh, my mind. So uh, we'll just have a quick look um, whether it's Bernie's time in 2020. Thank you, viewers. Thank you for your support and, um, and uh, your comments um, and everything else that you do here. Uh, for me and this channel. Um, it's wonderful to facilitate this channel. Thank you.